Hello and welcome. This week I picked up these 3 inch assist steps in matte black for my 2021 Chevy Colorado. I had received an email from Chevy uh, basically promoting their Black Friday sale, 25% off. I wanted these steps, so of course I jumped on it, placed the order, and it arrived at Maloof Chevrolet in New Jersey, which is the dealership where I actually purchased the truck. Now, I'm definitely not much of a mechanic when it comes to anything to do with vehicles, especially with my new truck. But I had saved some money from the discounted purchase from the sale. And I figured, hey, let me see how much it costs at the dealership for them to install this. And they wanted $240 plus tax. I looked around the internet, watched a few videos, saw that the process really wasn't that complicated, even for me, and decided to give it a try. Approximately 45 minutes later, I had both assist steps installed. If you're interested in seeing the process that I used, stay tuned. For those of you that are interested, the part number on these assist steps, 8415707. Once I got the steps home from the dealership, I opened up the box, saw that pretty much everything was already put together as far as the brackets already being attached to the actual steps. I took out the small bag that has the hardware in it, basically the bolts with the washers already affixed to them and the clips that the bolts will actually screw into. I'm gonna do just a general overview on the installation. In my blog post, I'll put a lot more detail and uh, specifications dealing with these specific assist steps. And if you are interested in that, I will place the link in the top right now and I will also place it in the comments field below. Now I did this install by myself. Obviously if you have an extra pair of hands, uh, they could come in handy, but from my experience, as long as you're careful, it's not necessary. I went underneath my truck and basically looked for the plugs where I needed to remove these plugs so that I could go ahead and clip the clips in. These plugs, uh, some of them came off easily just with my fingers, and for other ones I did need to use a flathead screwdriver and or needle nose pliers. So once the plugs were removed, I was able to go ahead and get the clip and just feed it in there and match up the holes. The uh, part with where the bolt goes into or screws into that's threaded, that actually goes towards the back and the flat end of the clip faces you. Just make sure that the holes are lined up. There's eight complete clips and of course eight matching bolts that go with it for each side. Once I had all eight clips in on the side, I went ahead, grabbed the bolts and kind of spaced them out so it was easier for me to be able to get to as I was laying on my back underneath the truck. Now that I had the clips in, I basically laid on my back, guided the steps onto my chest. Uh, they're heavy, but they're not super heavy and made sure I wasn't going to ding up the paint job. Once I had it underneath, what I did is had one of the far ends. I went ahead and put the bolt on there because it's basically just going to hang and that way I had one side in, then I scooted over to the middle, put another bolt in on top because there is a top and bottom bolt that goes in. So once I had those top ones in and had a couple of them fastened, just hand tightened, uh, it was enough to be able to hold the steps, let's say in place, as I went ahead and installed the other bolts. There are four total brackets for each side on these steps, so you will be utilizing all the holes. Once I had the four top bolts in and uh, basically hand tightened, I went ahead and installed the bottom bolts. Once I had the four bottom bolts installed, hand tightened, I went ahead and used my socket wrench to tighten the bottom screws. Definitely do not over tighten. Remember that you are working with aluminum and at any time you could also snap off one of these bolts. And as I tightened up the bottom, I definitely lifted up or pushed up while I was on my back and made sure that the steps were flush as I was tightening them. Once I was done with the bottom four bolts, I went back to the top and tightened the four top bolts also with the socket wrench once i was done with one side i went ahead and repeated the exact same process on the other side which actually went much quicker because now i knew uh what i was doing and that's all that there is to it a uh, very simple process uh, i was glad that i saved the money by doing it myself and certainly recommend that you also do it yourself so bottom line if you're in the market for some assist steps that are easy to install that look good on the truck definitely take a look at these that i picked up from chevy I'm happy with the look. I'm happy with the performance. Uh, they're built solid. And once again, I was able to save money by installing them myself.